Alrighty, Hosses. First things first. I want to tell you that I watched Ex Machina or Ex Machina last night, whatever it's called, and uh, was not as good as I expected. I heard really good things about it, but um, I don't know. It's kind of boring for me. But whatever. Moving on. In this video, I'm gonna make an even better AI, a pop-up window. <laughs> so yeah, not as uh, smart as the one in the window, but hey, we're we're getting there. All right. So. I know what you guys are thinking whenever you hear pop-up windows. Oh, I hate pop-up windows because I hate writing JavaScript. I don't know why I thought you talked like that, but hey, I do too. Now, the cool thing about Bootstrap is whenever you make these modals, and that's just what they call a pop-up window, so, you know, if I say one, I actually mean uh, the other. The cool thing about it is it's all packaged together, and we don't have to write any JavaScript at all. So in this example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a regular web page with a button on it, and whenever the user clicks that button, it's just going to have a pop-up appear that you know they can use like as a login form or you know whatever pop-up you want. So it's going to be sounds like a lot of work, but you know it's actually pretty easy. So I'll say like a log in the demo, just as a title, and let me just go ahead and add the button on our main site, and that's it. So the button will, of course, say it's type button, and we'll say like a login, say open login window. And also on this button, we need to add a couple more attributes to it. The first one is just for look, so button, which makes it look like a button, and button success, that just makes it green. Um, and the next one, two more, data toggle. This says that we're using it to toggle on a model or modal, however the heck you pronounce it. That just means that we're going to use it to open up a pop-up window. That's it. Now, the other thing we need is data target. So we can actually have a bunch of different modals on our website. And this is how it knows, okay, what modal are you trying to open? So if we have like five different ones, we'll give the one we're looking for pop-up window and of course since we need to target it by ID add that little hash or number sign right in front of the name so now we actually have to make that modal so div and this is the easy part so that was actually the hard part believe it or not even though that was incredibly easy so we're gonna make a div and it's just gonna be a modal which means we're making a pop-up window now just set add some cool fade class to it so it doesn't just pop up it kinda of looks like it's fading in and we also need to give it the ID of pop-up window so you can actually give it an ID of anything you want you can give it an ID of a uh, tuna fish just make sure that your target is targeting this window so it knows which one to pop up now inside here the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a class model dialog. I don't know why like some of this stuff pops up like um like button success, but some of this other stuff doesn't. It's kind of I don't know, it gets me confused sometimes. We're like, is this thing going to pop up this time or not? All right. So, the first thing we need is this div right here. I say first, but you know, what's this like the eighth thing we did? And this just means a dialog is another word for a pop-up. I don't know why they have so many different names. Are you going to call it modal, a dialog, or a pop-up? Get your crap together, bootstrap, but whatevs. All right, next. Div. Inside here, we're saying that we actually want to put some content in this pop-up. Now, a cool thing that we can do later on is if we use the class model content, then we can actually add a couple different pieces, a header, a body and a footer so instead of just you know having a bunch of crap spewed inside our pop-up window we can actually break it up into a nice organized structure so let me actually add three comments so we can build those later on so we'll build the header first and this will just be the top um, we usually put the title in here and maybe a close button on the side so the user can press X and close out of it now in the body is where your main crap is so like the input where the user can type basically the form and this last one will just be the footer for the button so it'll just be a uh, say submit or login whatever you want your button to say so for the header 
the class for this is model header model modal model modal what one is it I don't know alright so the header the second one is going to be the body and this last one is going to be the footer now inside here you pretty much just stick um, crap inside like you would expect nothing really bootstrap or tough to figure out so the first thing I'm going to do is actually add a close button so if the user accidentally clicks the button by accident they can click a little X to close out of it so button and inside here I'm gonna write ampersand times um, colon so this times just means X so like you're I guess they have it so if you're like timesing numbers together or mul multiplying numbers but that's how you get an X and the user knows whenever they click X means close now the type of this is a button and also the class close that actually is a bootstrap class in data dismiss model so I guess there was kind of bootstrappy stuff in here I lied but what this is saying is we're making a button style it like a close button and also whenever the user clicks it dismiss in other words get rid of this pop-up window alright now the next thing we need to do is just build <coughs> embarrassing embarrassing alright a really basic form and this is just gonna have I'm not gonna really make it do anything just gonna put it so uh, we have something to look at real quick so the role for this is form and whenever you add form elements what you do is you add them inside a div and I'll just put class form group so what you put inside a form group is any single element like a text area an input field um, a checkbox maybe a radio buttons group whatever but that's all you do make sure you surround it with a form group so bootstrap knows how to handle it so for this I'm just gonna make um, a type email I'll say like email and password so class form control and place holder it'll just say email now a placeholder if you don't know you can style your forms in two different ways you can either have a label on the left hand side and then just your input on the right or you can have some light gray text inside your form so since I'm too lazy to make a label on the left I'm just gonna add you know a little indicator bit of text inside the input so now I can just copy this since I'm lazy what am I trying to copy here what are you doing Bucky alright so form group and that'll be good so this one will be password so whenever you make it a type password it just shows those little asterisks or dots and it doesn't actually display their password in plain text this is a form control and we'll just write password in here alright so that's the body not a uh, you know I don't really feel like doing anything else to it keep this really simple and the last thing we need to do is just make a login button so button log in and we'll just say like a class what was our first one success so we'll say that this is primary so whenever you see the word success it means green whenever you see primary it means blue you can override these by default but I kinda like the default colors and we'll make a blum, blum block, button block, tomato, tomato, whatever. Don't judge me. All right. And uh, yeah, that's it. So let's go ahead and run this. And that is not running yet. That's my profile. And check it out. All right. So this is our original button. And whenever we click it, our modal pops up. And I forgot to add a stupid freaking... h3 or h2 and class model title and I'll just put like a login Actually, let me change that to h3 got a thing for h3's not sure why but I do and you see that that didn't have the title that's just what I did right there so now we have a model title this was the little dismiss times button I was talking about and you see that we have a bit of placeholder text right here instead of like a little label on the left hand side and since I added a block 
styling to this button right here it doesn't appear as a small button block means pretty much treat it like a block take up the entire width and uh, yeah there you go so a user can type in their email password close out of here or they can do whatever they want log in and boom they're golden so that's how you make pop-up windows aka models aka whatever the heck they feel like calling them this week thanks for watching see you next time